This question is for both Leon and for Ryan. So uh, Ryan, we'll start with you. You've been with the team for a few years. Do you feel a different uh, feeling going into this year's playoff series just based upon how the final 40 games of this regular season went and the progression and growth that your group showed? And I'd also like to, Leon, ask that, answer that same question after you, Ryan. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, like you said, the way that we finished off the season, um, even the last 20 games, I thought uh, we finished it with uh, – uh, the way that we wanted to play, um, we should have a lot of confidence in our group right now, and I know that we do. And uh, obviously, you want to finish the regular season rolling and uh, and playing the right way to to prepare yourself for playoffs. And I think we did a good job of that. Um, so the feeling going in right now is, uh, I mean, we have some confidence, but uh, obviously things uh, it's a it's a different animal in in playoffs. So uh, we got to prepare for that. And um, I think we've done everything right to this point. And uh, obviously, it's uh, all going to start tonight. Leon, same question. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think Nuggy um, is bang on. I mean, obviously, uh, we had a good regular season, um, finished finished strong, and, and um, it's never easy, you know, when you when you clinched a playoff spot and then you're kind of playing out the last couple of games. So I thought we did a good job of that, like he said, and um, you know, now now the real fun starts. So um, yeah, I think we're ready to go. We're well prepared and. We know it's going to be hard, but um, that's the fun part of it, too. Thank you. Derek Van Dees, Post Media. Morning, guys. Uh, I was just wondering if you could both maybe weigh in on this one. Maybe, Leon, start with you. Just the thought on, you've played the Jets nine times in the regular season. How does that kind of change the dynamic going into a playoff series? Because usually you don't play a team that many times in the regular season going into a playoff series. Uh, yeah, like you said, we've played each other a lot. Uh, we know their group. I'm, I'm pretty sure they know us by now. So uh, it's going to be an interesting series, I think. And um, yeah, I think that uh, both teams are going to be well prepared and it's going to come down to little things. And, um, you know, hopefully uh, at the end, uh, it's going to be us. Yeah, like like Leo said, I mean, it's uh, it is a different uh, experience playing these guys nine times and uh, then going into a playoff series against them. So um, uh, we know what uh, what we're gonna see. I mean, uh, they know uh, our game too. So um, we prepared the right way. It's uh, it's just gonna be uh, come down to the little things, and um, every play is gonna matter and. Uh, we've prepared ourselves the right way. It's just, uh, yeah, now it's uh, um, a little bit of who wants it the most, and uh, I know that uh, we're definitely hungry for it. And just, Ryan, just a thought on, um, I guess Leon can answer this one as well, just a thought on, you guys are, it, it, we're five games into the playoffs here, and other teams have started. Some teams are going into their third game tonight. Watching that, does that kind of fuel the playoff fire, and do you get anything out of how maybe the games are going to be called in the postseason, seeing some of those battles, some of those things, they're kind of letting go early on here in the postseason. Um, well, I think it gives you a good feeling of uh, the intensity of the playoffs. Um, I guess, uh, I mean, it's a, with the fans down there, it, uh, it definitely adds a little bit something. But, I mean, just the way the intensity has been, uh, you watch all the games. I mean, it's high pace. Uh, it's It's physical. Uh, there's a lot of shots, um, and so it's, uh, and we expected that. But it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's kind of a good thing that we've got to see a few games first, and um, and kind of know what uh, we're going in for here. But uh, yeah, and, and as far as the the refing goes, I mean, we know that we got to stay disciplined. Um, uh, I mean, we're going to be, uh, <clears throat> we want to play a physical physical style of a game, but obviously you got to stay disciplined and not give them uh, opportunities on their power play. Ryan Rashog, TSN. Leon, how do you think this team has grown and improved the most uh, and in what ways over the last 10 months? Uh, I think just finding different ways to win and, and sticking sticking with our game plan a little longer than we used to maybe. Um, yeah, I think that that's what good teams do. They, they find different ways to win. They have different guys stepping up at different moments, and we've had that um, throughout the entire regular season, and, and obviously uh, we need that again in the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, I think that, you know, we deserve to be here. Like I said, we know it's going to be hard, but we're ready for it, and, um, you know, a, a big part of it is also enjoying it at the same time. Question for Ryan. 
Connor talked a little bit yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, and he's talked this year about how much of a focus he put on just trying to round out his two-way game. Yet he steps in and puts up numbers like we haven't seen in decades offensively. <clears throat> So what have you seen from him in terms of improvement in his two-way game and how impressive is it that he did it, you know, with the backdrop of pushing those kind of numbers? Yeah, uh, I do think that um, his defensive game, uh, took, he took it to another level this year as well. Um, obviously, his points speak for himself, for themselves, but um, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's kind of an area he was focused on, was playing a a really solid two-way uh, two-way game, be, being hard to play against uh, on the defensive side of things, and um, I definitely think he uh, he, he uh, took a big step up in that uh, direction as well. Donna Spencer, Canadian Press. Hi, this question is for both of you, uh, Leon and Ryan. Uh, the Montreal Canadiens think that they could have fans in the Bell Center if that series goes to a Game Six. Um, does that make you feel envious or hopeful or any combination of that? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we hope that can happen here. Um, we don't know. It's uh, obviously it's different uh, province wide, but um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a, a step in the right direction. Um, so I don't think it's a, it's a bad thing that the, that they're going to allow some fans Um like, like I said, I mean, we, we, we would love to play in front of fans. We would love to have our, uh, um, our fans cheering us on right now, but uh, it's not the way it is. But, I mean, uh, I, I think that it gives us a little bit of hope. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, fans would be really nice. Um, but it is, it is what it is. We, we got to play our game regardless. Um, but... Like Nagi said, uh, I think it's a step in, in, in a good direction, and you know, hopefully, we can we can follow it. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, this is for Leon. Leon, what's it like when you play a good friend like Josh Morrissey? Uh, there's no friends right now, so I can't really answer that question. Good, good answer. <laughs> uh, and does he know you? better than you know him when you go against them. I mean, he's pro you played together on the same team. I think we know players. each other very well. Um, obviously, I'm going to try and, uh, you know, take it to him, and he's going to do the same, try and do the same to me. So um, I think it's going to be fun. But like I said, there's no friends out there. Thank you. Jason Greger, TSN 1260. It's for both you guys. Uh, you were both here in 2017. In that regular season, you guys were top 10 in goals for and goals against per game. Uh, this season, though, since February, you're fifth in goals against. And that's with Leon and Connor, of course, you know, and your team scoring a lot of goals, power play. What subtle changes have you guys seen to your team defense that's allowed you to be top five now for the last three and a half months? Uh, I think we're staying a little more patient uh, in, in our D zone. We're not leaving as early um, if, if there's a breakdown or whatever it is. Um, I think we've improved in that area a lot. And, um, you know, it, it, it shows in, in our goals against. Um, obviously, it's going to be a big part going into, uh, into the playoffs here. Yeah, I mean, for sure it's... Uh... We, it's something that we've worked on. We've taken a lot of pride in uh, through the course of the season. Uh, we didn't start it, start the year exactly how we wanted to in that aspect. And um, yeah, it's. Uh, I think we've taken some big steps uh, as far as getting to to the point where we're uh, we're happy with the the way that uh, we're playing defensively. And um, like Leon said, I mean, it's just uh, staying patient, um, playing as five uh, in zone and neutral zone, and uh, not giving up too many uh, odd man rushes. Thanks.